The FT-2 test will be conducted in the TAC-2 area of White Sands Missile Range. The battle manager and all manned support trailers will be at the Meads control site, located on the former Delta Clipper Pad near the Columbia site. The Meads launchers will be at the Meads launch site, located on the Chaz East Pad. The surveillance radar will be located at the L-825 pad near Chaz site. The MFCR will be located at a dedicated Mead sensor site at North Checker. For the FT-2 test event, three Pac-3 MSE missiles will be armed and expended. The battle manager's plug-and-fight software will automatically configure the MFCR and attach the Meads launchers and the surveillance radar to form a Meads battle element. With all radar and launcher test personnel at a safe operating distance, the battle manager will activate the system by commanding the radars and launchers to the remote mode. The battle manager operator will monitor and control the MEIs throughout the test. Upon confirmation that the Meads test elements are initialized and operating nominally, the targets will be readied for launch. The QF-4 will be launched first and directed to its initial point at the southern end of a racetrack south of the test area. The battle manager operator will mode the surveillance radar and MFCR to operate mode. The surveillance radar will acquire a track on the QF-4 and provide this track information to the battle manager. The battle manager will use this data to create a system track and will then cue the MFCR to track the QF-4. Upon direction from the test controller, a Lance tactical ballistic missile will be launched from the north. The SR will acquire a track on the TBM as it comes into view. The battle manager will again use this data to generate a system track and will cue the MFCR to track the TBM. Upon direction from the test controller, the battle manager operator will authorize semi-automatic engagement of the tracks that correspond to the two targets. The Meads battle manager will calculate an optimum engagement for each target and send launch commands to each launcher. Two Pac-3 MSE missiles will be launched in a shoot-shoot protocol at the TBM. One missile will be launched at the ABT. The MFCR will establish up-down links with each missile and will guide them to intercept. During the first seconds of flight, the Pac-3 MSE may need to execute Meade's unique initial turn algorithms. From the 70-degree launch angle, the missile performs a significant out-of-plane maneuver that supports the 360-degree capability of the Meade's weapon system. The missiles will intercept and destroy the inbound targets at planned intercept points that are well away from the Meade's battle element. Following two previous successful flight tests, Flight Test 2 is the final planned flight test for the Meade system under the design and development program.